next, we're flying a Zoom guest right here into the desk, and she's a comedian, an actor, and a certified life of the party. Yeah. She first charmed us in the 90s with the epic dating show Singled Out, and now she's a judge on the hit show, The Mass Singer. She is a friend. This is her second time here. It's Jenny McCarthy. Jenny. I've loved Jenny for so long. I'm so lucky. I meet amazing women. I know. And we are here to honor your amazing launch of your own vegan lip gloss. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Former beauty. I'm so proud of it. Can I just brag for a second? Please. Because when I was, the reason why I started it was because when I started learning about the ingredients in lip glosses, I was horrified, horrified. I was like, wait a minute, I ingest lip gloss all day long. So I thought, can I make something with pure, like real pure ingredients that is vegan, cruelty-free, that moisturizes your lips. You don't have like old lady cracky lips. And I did it. And I'm so proud of it. And I named them after intention. So manifest dream love. So I encourage everyone to like put in I love that with intent. I love this. Manifest <laughs> dream and love. And you wrote us a little note oh, in here, no! Jenny. Oh, I'm putting this up on my wall immediately. Ditto, saving. Thank you. I should have put a kiss on it. Jenny, <laughs> would you be kind enough to do some headlines with us? I would love nothing. Great. Okay, first up, we've got a style 10 that is back from the dead. <laughs> and we want your take on it, Jenny. The Wall Street Journal reports that the denim tide has turned and once again, it is time for the low rise jeans. Oh God. Everyone's <laughs> letting their <laughs> jeans hang a low. Lily Rose a Depp, a Lori Harvey, a Hailey Bieber, just a couple of it girls. Jenny, we're no stranger to the old hip slip and denim. What are your- I was your gonna say, we did. We did back in the day, Drew. Oh, there you are. Did. I did before I had two kids. That's right. And I, this is what I think of this new trend. No. No. <laughs> no. I have cellulite on my stomach. I can't at this age, you know? I just feel so much better in that high-waisted, I can eat more, you know, it holds in it all. Thank all of you. Your stomach. Thank yeah, you. I, I would like a pair of jeans that go to about here. Yeah, well, like, where are those jeans? Yeah. I mean, this is why I'm wearing like yoga pants and sweatpants every day because I don't want to feel restricted. But I mean, look, look, if I literally wore them now, it's like, I would look like I'm kind of pregnant. Like, there's some meat there. I like just a, 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 like a, where, you know where they measure your waist? Yeah. That's yes. where I want my stuff to land. Hmm. Hit me at the waist. Well, thank you, Jenny, for your amazing assessment yeah. of those jeans. I agree. I don't see you two in those low rise jeans anytime soon. You know, some of us are haunted by our uh, past fashion choices. Uh, some it. of us are haunted too by our past boyfriends. Mm. Girl, can we, uh, can I get an amen as RuPaul says? Can I get an amen? amen. Well, uh, let me explain. In style reports, haunting is the latest dating trend. So you know ghosting is when someone completely stops talking to you? Oh yeah. Well, haunting is when you feel the lingering presence of an old flame on your social media. Okay, I love that. Yeah, so like you broke up, but maybe he or she is still commenting or liking your posts and you're like, what, what? Oh my God, I totally have one of those. What? Not a boyfriend, just someone I went on a really weird date with and they're still just right there. And I'm like, this, why, what? Really? All right. I'm in it right now, Ross. My girlfriends, and I hate to call them out right now. Do it. But they are knee deep into haunting. They've got <gasps> fake accounts because they were blocked already by <gasps> their ex. <laughs> that is a new. They doubled Whoa. down. And, oh, God. And, oh, yeah. And, and literally, they spend all day long. And sometimes if they find out about the fake account, then they're calling me going, can you check the page right now? I want to see if his girlfriend got any skinnier. I'm like... Girl, we're in our 40s. What are you doing? Wow. Let it go. It happens. But what's the protocol? If you break up, say you were someone for years and you break up, do you unfollow each other? Yes. Yes? yes. Oh, good, good to know. All right. Well, before we go, we took the 
first show on the road to Chicago recently. And while we were a chomping down on a delicious Chicago hot dog at Jimmy's Red Hot, I met this most wonderful man, a Chicago resident named Tim. And it turns out that Tim said, oh, I watch the show every day. And I was like, you do, Tim? Hi, Tim. And Aww. I loved this man so much. He is a tattoo artist, and I'd love for you to check out some of his classic tattoos. Um, I loved this one. Gorge. That one was very graphic and alternative. Mm, that's um, cool. Yes, and Jenny, Chicago is your hometown. It is, and I gotta tell you, Drew, Chicago loves you. My sister watches you every day. She was so excited. She's like, oh my God, you're gonna be We love you here. Well, I highly recommend you check out Tattoo Tim, who is one of our favorite viewers, and we're so glad that he came on board with this show. And you gotta just go to Chicago and love up on everything that it has to offer, including Miss Jenny McCarthy, who we love so much. The Masked Singer airs Wednesday at 8 Eastern, 7 Central.